Not that unusual because the Sinaloa cartel in the past has been known for not just intimidating witnesses but going to the lengths of actually murdering them as well. So lots of secrecy going on, uh, not just surrounding the jury selection but also the witnesses that will be called during this trial that's likely to last three to four months. The jury selection is taking place in secret, behind closed doors in the judges' chambers. They're all going to be serving anonymously during the course of the trial. Also, the witnesses as well, many of them have had their names blacked out on the lists that have been produced in the run-up to this trial. Prosecutors uh, keeping some of them as well in witness protection programs to make sure that there's no intimidation or threats made to them. Uh, those sort of lengths are extraordinary, but they're not completely unusual. We do sometimes see those uh, type of things put in place in the United States. But really, prosecutors are doing all they can to keep uh, those witnesses and those jurors who are being selected in the courthouse behind me here today uh, as safe as possible during the course of this trial. Those two previous prison breaks in Mexico, once apparently smuggling himself out of jail in a laundry cart, the other time digging a mile-long tunnel that started in the shower inside his cell. Here in New York City, they're housing him in the maximum security prison known as 10 South. Now, that is on the island of Manhattan, but we're in the borough of Brooklyn, just across the river. Uh, so extraordinary lengths being gone to to keep him uh, locked up during the course of this trial, but also to move him to the courthouse on a daily basis.